Good afternoon and welcome to SWAT TV News at 3. I am Sandra O. Dokoba. The headlines. Northern governors meet in Kaduna over banditry and kidnapping. Special advisor to Governor Wiki kidnapped in Port Harcourt. The Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, is demanding the presidency rejig the existing revenue formula before states can pay the new minimum wage of 30,000 naira. Reports indicate that Samfara, Kaduna, Castina, Kebi, and Sokoto are worse hit in the zone as hand beat, as bandits and kidnappers continue to terrorize the residents in parts of the states. Even as certain routes and highways have virtually become no go area for motorists. Speaking on Wednesday, during his re election campaign trip to two of the eight most dangerous local government areas in Castillo State, Safara and Damusa Governor Amino Masiri said the affected governors would take all measures possible to counter activities of the criminals and hunt loose. He said the governors of KB and Zamfara visited him last Sunday, during which they had preliminary discussions on the issues. Masri told the people of Zamfara and Damosa that certain government initiatives had earlier led to considerable reduction in incidences of cattle resulting in two local government areas, but regretted that the bandits changed tactics and resorted to kidnapping. However, according to the governor, the fight against kidnappers can only be won with participation of citizens through providing useful information to security agencies, especially concerning those who serve as informants to criminals. Masiri had, during a recent meeting with stakeholders, warned that bandits and kidnappers we are on the verge of overrunning the states and the security of the lives of residents could no longer be guaranteed. The local government areas described as frontline locations for bandits and cattle wrestlers in Castina states are Jibia, Basari, Sampara, Danmusa, Faskari, Sabua, Dandume, Kankara, and parts of Kafu Masiri's local governments. Parts of communities in these areas share boundaries with the Rogo forests, reported to be the equivalent of the Sambisi forests, a foremost operational base of the Boko Haram insurgent group in the United States. I'll bring you more details on this. Let's hear a Pell from Potakas. Good afternoon, Adesa Pell. Good afternoon, Ms. Sandra. You're welcome. Thank you. The news and details, Headman. Special Advisor to Governor Wike kidnapped in Port Harcourt. Honorable Honor, the Special Advisor to the River State Governor, Nyeso Wike on lands and survey, has been kidnapped by gunmen around Wimpy Aziz of Ada Judd Road in Obio, above local government area of the state. Our correspondent gathered that the armed men trailed Honor to his hotel along Ada Judd where they shot sporadically before taking him away at gunpoint. An eyewitness said the attackers whisked their victim away even with four of the security personnel present. The media aid for Onoa, the media aid to Onoa who confirmed the kidnap incident to journalists said no contact had been established between the family of the victim and kidnappers. Meanwhile, the state police commanders confirmed the abduction incident. The state police public relations officer Namdi Omoni in a statement in Potapa said the kidnappers were dressed in military uniform. That's all for today. I am Adeza Pearl, reporting from Port Harcourt. Welcome back. However, according to the governor, the fight against kidnappers can only be won with the participation of providing useful information to security agencies, especially concerning those who serve as informants to the criminals. Masiri had, during a recent meeting with stakeholders, warned that bandits and kidnappers were on the verge of overrunning the states and that security of lives of residents could no longer be guaranteed. Local government areas described as frontline locations for bandits and cattle wrestlers in Castillo State, Ajubie, Bastzari, Zamfara, Danmusa, Paskari, Sabuwa, Dandume, Kankara, 
and parts of Kafum Mara's local government area. Parts of communities in these areas share boundaries with the Rigu Forest, reported to be the equivalent of the Sambisa Forest, a foremost option a foremost operational base of the Boko Haram insurgent group in Burundi states. From SWAT TV, I am Sandra O. Thanks for listening.